Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a semi disaster battle playing as Clan Scryer going up against Lewin Leon Kerr. Ugh, Leon Leon Kerr, again. So, anytime somebody sends me an Escaven disaster, uh, especially this Clan Scryer, and it's up against Bretonia, I just usually check for one thing Is Lewin Leon Kerr in the battle? If no, easy battle. If yes, nightmare. The rest of this stuff is pretty much irrelevant, but. The problem with Lewin Neonko is usually because he's got such high missile resistance, it's very hard to, and it's quite difficult to pin him down. Um, it can be, um, he can just soak up so much ammo. So there's two options usually with dealing with him. Uh, ignoring him entirely and just sort of bog him down on something just to just keep him busy and try to destroy his army. Or isolate him early, get rid of him before his main forces fight, and then with whatever ammo that you've got less, try to deal with it. So we'll see what we can do here. We've got a bunch of crap that we can use from the settlement garrison. Uh, we've also got menace belows, a few of those. Um, when using a weapons team, it kind of doesn't matter how much food you've got because their leadership is almost irrelevant. Once they're into melee, honestly, the sooner they're out, the better because that way they've got a chance of rallying again and just getting back into shooting. Because it's actually a lot easier to pull a unit out if it, if it routes. Um, so, the... It would have been good if we had a few more units here. I think he was... It looks like he's recruiting. And uh, this is also a, a, a disaster from the gaming den. I'm just having a look at the situation here. I'm just seeing if we've got... It doesn't have a Warlock Engineer, which means we can't use Howling Warp Gale, which would have been great for this. Anyway, let's just jump in here and see what we can do. Yeah, Lewin Leon Kerr. Hmm. How are we going to deal with him? Yeah, and if, if it's on Bequi, then that's that's usually the biggest problem. Like, he's just super tanky. He can regen. It might be better if we ignore him and just try to route his entire army. Alright, Bounce of Power is not horrendous, but honestly, with these sort of situations, don't worry about Bounce of Power that much. Um, I've, I, I know this map pretty well. Uh, this is a really good position. Not so much here, but here will do okay. It's unflankable from this position here. Oh, hang on. Oh no, he's not going to have Howling Whoop Gale. Alright. Doesn't matter what the bounce of power is when the when Leonko comes in. <laughs> so strong. He's probably one of the most difficult legendary lords in the game to kill. Ridiculous amounts of missile resistance. Alright. I don't usually like to spread these guys out too far. It's really good you got these plague priests in here. Really, really good. Another option that we could do is send some of these guys, like some. Uh, send some of these over here just to annoy some of their cavalry to begin with so that it's over there because if we bring some of their force over here they're obviously not going to bring their full force to bear here it just it'd do a little bit better yeah you really got to get a um, warlock engineer into this army not having it's going to hurt us here Spread them out. So these guys here have a clear shot. Yep. That one there, less so. Now they'll probably bring some guys around over here. Um, just I guess I'll just bog them down with menace belows there. All right, who's got arcane conduit? We have two of them. Okay, we're gonna need to put that down right at the start. They've all got vermintide. That's awesome. Let's do this. Shriek, shriek. 
Yes, if we can keep this paladin busy over here for as long as possible, that'd be great. Because they're also, you know, they're a bit of a nuisance to get rid of. And if we can get rid of this blessed field trebuchet without even using a menace below, great. It's okay to shoot at cavalry with these artillery. In fact, they kind of do just as much damage as um, warp lightning cannons. Yes, he's, he's going somewhere else. That's exactly what we want. We have a nuke as well. I'll, I'll see if I can get through this without using it. So far, so good, I think. I just want to try to get Lu and Leonco down. Shouldn't. Ah, it's tempting. It's tempting. It's good there, keeping pretty busy over there. That's what we want. Lu and Leonco hasn't come in too far over here. So just keep them busy. That's it. Keep Lou and Leonco busy. I don't know if we should shoot him, but to be honest, we're doing some damage. And it's doing... I don't know. I don't know. It's going really well. Just keep him, keep him tied down. That's all we're gonna do. All right, all of this is going pretty well here. Just keep Lu and Leon Kerr fighting uh, menace below's uh, vermin tides. Same thing, different name. Okay, everybody's as long as they're firing at something, that's all good. Yep, just keep these coming in. Keep, keep him busy there. Keep him pinned down. about you lot? Fire it there. Let's get rid of that just for the um, balance of power. Keep him pinned down. Try to get this guy out of there. Don't want to lose your plague priests. Yeah, he's already reached... Oh, he's got a health potion as well. We just need to get that army loss penalty. Because that way you can just auto-resolve it next battle to get rid of him. We've essentially taken no, no casualties so far. They were obstructed. Okay, we need more menace belows over here. Okay, we wanted to avoid that happening for as long as possible. But, we're really close to the army losses right now. Kill the army to rout the general. Pretty much. Come on, we can do this. Get them back on there. And there we go. There we go. We did it. That's the army losses. So while he's running away, we should try to do as much damage to him as possible so that over the next turn... He doesn't recover. Nah, he's gonna rat that way. Still, very much minimal damage done here. Excellent crowd control. It really helps when you send like a couple of units around the side over here in these sort of situations, just to distract even just one or two units. So in that instance, uh, all of the uh, the garrison units were actually really helpful in this battle here.
Yeah, you should be able to recover this in a single turn. And we didn't even... Yeah, we didn't use a... Uh, a Doom Rocket. Alright, that'll do. It's only a close victory because of how many in the garrison got killed, but it's fine. Alright, took him out, and... I'm just wondering if you could use some food. Honestly, with the damage that's done to us here, we'll still be able to beat it. Plus, we'll get recovery anyway. Alright, they, they, they are going to get some replenishment, but we wiped out a bunch of units. So let's have a look what else is going on. Yeah, it's always a pain when dealing with Bretonia if they manage to confederate um, the Errantry War people. It's just a lot harder to get rid of them. Probably the best way to deal with Caron is to take him out in the early game before he gets any chance to confederate anyone. But sometimes that's not viable. Right, let's have a look here. Yeah. Pretty much just about full strength. And tell me these are cunning. Knowledgeable, that's cool. Cunning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's good that you're, you're trait farming. Getting the right ones. Cunning. Knowledgeable and... So two knowledgeable. Nice. Loads of winds of magic. Cool. Cool. Oh, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Doom decay. Dreaded one. There we go. That's how you get rid of them when they on go. <laughs> Auto resolve it. He just doesn't die. We would be good if we took his uh, health potion away from him, which I don't think we did. And you, with this army here, you should be able to push on to Bastogne. What I'd recommend is probably to sack the city. You should be able to handle it pretty easily. So this guy, he got his immortality, didn't he? Yeah, there you go. I'll let you sort it out. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. We got through that situation. Campaign looks like it's pretty healthy. I mean, you're fighting Corone, which is difficult, but it looks like you've got the, the, the infrastructure set up to deal with it. Um... You've done well there by putting them in ambush dance. You should be able to come over here and take out Alberic. He's nowhere near as dangerous as the Win the Unco. That shouldn't be a problem for you. Uh, cool stuff. Alright, that's the end of this one. Appreciate all the support, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.